Okay, so this is a nurse shark. Okay, and they're very common in the South Atlantic. Okay, normally not a shark that is targeted by recreational fishermen because quite frankly they don't put up much of a fight. It's just sort of a big lug when you hook them. Usually they're caught by accident. Now if you're trying to identify a nurse shark, um, there's not much confusion really. There's not too many other sharks that are just a dark brown like this. They have a great big fat head. They almost look like a tadpole. I think, you know, such a large head there. Um, so you're rarely going to confuse them with other species of sharks. Maybe a little confusion between the nurse shark and the lemon shark. And the reason for that is they're both found very often in shallow water, like out here. Also, the two dorsal fins on both the nurse and the lemon shark are almost the same size. In, in other words, particularly the, the second dorsal, this one here, is larger than most other sharks on both the nurse and the lemon. However, on the nurse shark, the first dorsal fin is further back than most sharks. As you, as you, you can see it's almost back to the, the second dorsal. On most other sharks, including the lemon, the first dorsal fin is right around here someplace. So, other than that, the most obvious characteristic about a nurse shark that will distinguish it from other species of sharks, including the lemon shark, is the mouth and the jaw. You notice it does not have the standard crescent-shaped mouth that most sharks have with lots of pretty nice sized teeth. Instead it has a relatively small mouth up front, kind of big lips, and if you notice too the barbels, the two whisker-like appendages on the front, okay, these sharks are, are suction feeders and they stick their head up close to their prey and, and suck it right in. Okay, so that's their whole uh, mouth and jaw design is for that. Make no mistake though, they do have teeth in there and very, very strong jaws. Do not make the mistake of thinking he doesn't have teeth and you can just reach in there and get the hook out. You will lose a finger or be seriously injured if you, if you uh, make that mistake. But again, this is your nurse shark, also very small eyes. Overall, they're, they're very brown, almost dark color, found in the shallow waters. Um, not much of a sport fish, but interesting nonetheless. Okay, and very common, the divers will often see them when they're swimming around the reefs uh, because the nurse sharks will often lay on the bottom under a coral head or something like that. But these guys are always a definite candidate for catch and release if you happen to land one. So we'll put this, this female back in the water and send her on her way. So that's your average nurse shark, and they'll grow to over 300 pounds. That's a relatively small one there.